Hi, I'm Mike with Morgan Inspection Services. One thing that we see during home inspections quite often is uh, missing ground fault circuit interrupters. Uh, these are designed to help prevent someone from being electrocuted and they're particularly needed around wet areas such as sinks. Uh, so I'm going to show you today how to install one. It's really a pretty simple process. It takes 10 to 15 minutes and uh, it's something anybody with a little bit of handyman skill can do. The first thing to do before any doing any electrical work is to turn the power off. We're going to be replacing this receptacle here with a GFCI. So first thing we're going to do is make sure that the power's off. We've got a little tester here. Uh, we're going to go up to the breaker panel and make sure we've got the power off before we do anything else. Okay, so we've got the power off. Uh, first thing we do is take the cover off here. And before I do anything, I want to verify, even though I checked it with this, I just want to verify there's no power in here. And indeed, there isn't. So we're going to pull this outlet out. And just going to take the, the wires off of it. easy all right okay so let me show you something on these GFCIs most of them when you buy them are gonna have a piece of tape this tape is covering the side that you don't want to connect the power to if you look closely hopefully the camera will show it you can see load and line the line side is where you want the power that supplies the outlet connected to the load side would be if this GFCI is going to protect another receptacle downstream, then that receptacle would be tied in under these screws that are covered by the tape. But the power must be connected to the side that's labeled line. Okay, so one other thing, you've got two colored screws. You've got a silver screw and you've got a brass or a gold screw. The gold screw is where you connect the, the black wire or the hot wire. The silver screw is where you connect the white or the neutral and then you've got your ground screw here all right so we will just insert this in here now let me show you one other thing the end of the loop you want the loop going in the direction that you turn the screw to tighten it so it needs to go that way since we obviously tighten the screw in a counterclockwise motion. Okay. It's always a little awkward. Hopefully the camera can see all this. Okay. Now what I'm gonna turn it upside down to get it. You want to make sure those are pretty tight, but you don't want to over tighten them and uh, crack something. Okay, so then you need to hook up your ground wire. Okay, so that's basically all you do. Now, again, if this GFI were going to protect the next uh, receptacle in line, then we would hook those wires up here, but it's all by itself. So you just need to adjust these wires a little bit so this can push back into the box.
Okay, so that's basically all there is to it. Now I planned everything for this video except purchasing the correct cover plate. So I'm gonna have to go back to the store before I can totally finish this project. But give me just a minute, I'm gonna go turn the power on and we'll make sure this is working properly. All right, so we've got the power on at the breaker. I'm gonna hit the reset here and we'll just double check it with this uh, receptacle tester. I've got a green light here. I push my test button. You can hear it pop and you can see the red light. So this is now a GFCI protected receptacle and this sink area is going to be a lot safer. Again, this took less than 10 minutes to do. It's a fairly simple thing. Just always remember to make sure the power is off before you do any electrical work. And black screw goes to the, or the black wire goes to the gold screw and the white wire goes to the silver screw. And you always want to hook up your power coming in to the line side, not the load side. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you.